What's going on guys? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here and it's a what sold so big we had to premiere it in prime time. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel guys. My name is Troy. I am a part-time reseller based out of Montana and typically we drop most of our during the week videos as a premiere and kind of hang out with, uh, with with some of you and get to chat about different things in the video sometimes during garage sales it's hey that sold last night and you know people get to ask questions that sort of thing I really enjoy talking with subscribers and that wasn't able to happen this morning because we had such a big weekend uh, we sold, I packed up uh, more than two dozen packages on Sunday, some of them containing multiple items. The days before that were just as busy, but just this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we were just under $1,800 in sales. Now, of course, that's gross. I didn't take out, um, you know, eBay fees. I didn't pull out my taxes. I, I, I get all that. So we're not picking at those nits, but $1,800 gross for a part-time reseller over the weekend. I think that's pretty good. Uh, we had actually on Sunday, we eclipsed $1,000 on Sunday alone. I, it, phenomenal. And it's been a great couple of weeks. And we had some sales on Wednesday and Thursday that I have not shared with you either. So this is a big what sold. It's going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to try and move through these as quickly as possible. But just forewarning, it is going to be a little bit longer because of how many we've got in here. And I want to share at least enough about some of them with you that if you see it later down the road, you know to pick it up and maybe you know why to pick it up. And so I do want to start off. Actually, usually we tack these things on at the end, but I'm going to do it right at the beginning because I think it's pretty cool. Somebody came in and bought us five coffees. Um, we have the buy me a coffee thing set up. If you appreciate the content on the channel and you want to sort of fund my Mountain Dew or cold coffee, iced coffee habit, uh, that gets me going on Saturday mornings. And I appreciate you guys doing that. It's really cool. You don't have to. Uh, the link to that is down below in the description, along with the link to our merch store. Somebody came in and like I said, five coffees. It was actually Jupiter Jane came in and said, hey, there you are also part-time resellers and they started a couple of years ago like us to pay off student loans i'm paying off student loans and medical bills stuff like that and they said you know they appreciate the content love the channel and like to see that it's possible and it absolutely is possible guys i mean like i said eighteen hundred dollars over a week and I, i've been blessed to uh, make a couple of really good finds and that is the fuel behind so many of these sales but if you're out there, if you're working, if you're grinding, you can make this happen and you can change your circumstances. You can change your life uh, through eBay. I mean, it, it's not not hyperbole to say that. It, it really isn't. So um, thank you so much. It's uh, Liz and Dave there, Jupiter Jane. Thank you so much for doing that. That's really, really neat. Uh, two auctions that we had ending on the evening on Wednesday. One of them is this R2-D2 vintage piece, of course, from that collection that we picked up. This is the solid dome. All that means is it's one of the first 12 that they put out. And this one went to auction and sold for $41 plus shipping. And then we sold another R2 unit. This is the one with the sensor scope. It's not solid dome because there's a little plastic piece that comes up and out of the top. Uh, this is also from 1977, same year. It's just from a later run. And this one also at auction actually sold to somebody with an office at Universal Studios in California, which is pretty cool. Sold for $49 plus shipping. And they already left glowing feedback. They were super excited to get this piece. And that's always neat to see. And then we sold some more from that pickup. It wasn't all Star Wars. There was some other sci-fi stuff in there. A lot of that sold this weekend, including this guy. This is a 1978 Battlestar Galactica Colonial Scarab. It's got the original pilot. It's got the missiles. I could have gutted this thing out, parted it out, and made, uh, you know, a, a third, again, as, mu as much money, I think, uh, selling it piece by piece. But I don't want to do that. I want to respect the piece. And we sold it as a unit. And it went for $49.99 plus shipping. And then that same buyer actually also bought this. This from Return of the Jedi, the Gamorrean Guard complete figure from 1983. They paid $20.36 for that we combined of course those two orders and refunded them a little bit 
for the shipping price on that. Then we sold a hat, this Disney Pixar Cars Land Lightning McQueen snapback hat. It was a youth hat sold for $16.39 free shipping. I probably paid a dollar, maybe $2 for that. I, I think that was a $2 because it was from the local thrift store. Car stuff tends to do pretty well. Some of it is a little bit more long tail, but it, it does sell. And then we jump in to our most recent find. We picked up a pile of Barbies. I'll try and remember to put the, the link up here. I listed about half of them and a good chunk of those already sold four of them to the same buyer. We'll tell you about that coming up. But the first thing to sell is this. This is just from the Cut and Style series. It's hair refills is what it is. And it's new, but the packaging was pretty beat up. So I priced it to move because the packaging was chewed up. $6.49 plus shipping. Pretty sure this is going to a freight forwarder. It's an Eastern European sounding name. And I think it was a name that was familiar uh, because we had a, a big Barbie haul or several big Barbie hauls uh, a few months back. And so I think this is that same buyer that's probably saved at the store and they bought some more. So that was the first thing to go out. We made a lot more money on the next batch of stuff to go out. Then this one was a surprise. Uh, this was found in the bottom of uh, the Star Wars haul in uh, a baggie of just mixed pieces, and they were broken. The uh, the rubber bands on these things, on any of the old action figures, disintegrate to time, and they get loose, and that's why you'll see the joints very loose, and then eventually they just break. And these guys, check this out, they're broken pieces, they're Buck Rogers figures from uh, from the 70s, and I sold them four parts repair, you know, because the rubber band had broken. But the, the pieces themselves were in good shape. And people can restore these just like they restore the old G.I. Joes. And I put this up to auction. I think it started at $14.99. And I was getting bids right away. And this sold for, you saw it, $147.50 plus shipping. And they paid right away. Uh, I had this set up for first class shipping, didn't realize it would go quite that high. And so I did upgrade and pay the difference myself for priority shipping to make sure that we had a, a little bit extra protection there and make sure that it got there safely. Then we sold a hat. I love selling hats. This one, a Vortex Optics Nation strapback hat. Vortex is, uh, it, it's an archery brand. And I've found that it actually sells pretty well. This sold for $15.57 plus international shipping up to Canada. Then I sold this vintage tech deck. It's a fingerboard, Pokemon fingerboard. This is Zapdos. I don't know. I, I actually had this at auction. I put it at auction at $9.99 plus shipping. I picked up a couple watchers, didn't get a bid. So I just relisted it at auction, picked up a watcher, didn't get a bid. So I relisted it at buy it now for a higher price and got a sale in a matter of days. I, sometimes uh, eBay is weird. It sold for $15.57 plus international shipping to Mexico. So that another international sale. Then we sold Lethal Weapon Season 1. This with uh, Damon Wayans. This sold for not very much, $4.74 plus shipping, but I think I paid a dollar for it. So we made a few bucks. Then we sold a vintage C-3PO. This again, one of the first 12 from 1977, and it sold for $19.76 plus shipping. Sold another action figure. This one's been sitting around for a while. This Marvel Legends. It was a uh, wasp. And you could build Cull Obsidian once you put them all together. $19.95 plus shipping on that guy. Then we sold another Star Wars figure. This one from 1980, Empire Strikes Back. This is Dengar. It sold for $9.98 plus shipping. And then a really good Barbie sale here, guys. This one, same buyer. It was an overnight sale. I woke up and there they were, Bar Barbie moving out the door. This seller bought four of them and four of the better ones that we picked up. The 1994 cut and style African-American. That one, I think by itself was like 120 bucks, something like that. And then the paint and dazzle Barbie. That one from 93. And then the 1993 glitter hair Barbie. And then we sold another glitter hair Teresa. All told, $364.44 plus shipping. And they did send me a message and said, hey, I bought four. Anyway, you can combine those into one box and save on shipping a little bit. It turned out it worked out really well for them. I was able to combine those into one box. I dropped it off this afternoon at FedEx 
and they paid like $60 for priority, USPS priority shipping. And I dropped it off at FedEx and I think it was like 14, 15 bucks, something like that. It was super cheap. So of course, refunded them that difference. We paid $150 for all of those Barbies. So we've already doubled our money on that purchase that we made on Friday. So really, really happy with that. Then we sold Are You Afraid of the Dark? You might remember we sold the complete series a while back for really good money. And this one is just volume one and volume two. I think it's sort of highlights and uh, just different episodes from each of those seasons. This one is also one to watch out for, guys. $56.99 plus international shipping up to Canada. I think I paid $3 for these at a garage sale. Are You Afraid of the Dark is an absolute media bolo. Then we sold some warm-up pants. These I paid a dollar for them at a garage sale. These Kansas City Chief track pants took a deal of $20 plus shipping for those. And then I sold a hat, this a vintage hat, a Roadrunner with Phoenix, Arizona on the top. Really cool look. The back was actually the little uh, snaps on the snapback were actually peeling off. Otherwise, this would have been able to be priced a little bit higher. I think I had it priced at like 23 bucks. Got on an offer of 20 and I took it. This, another one going to a freight forwarder and ultimately is going to end up in Malaysia. It's a cultural thing there in Malaysia, Thailand. A lot of vintage snapback trucker hats end up going there. Not sure why, but they love them. And so another one is joining the family over there. We sold this vintage Jean Autry movie theater lobby card. This is a really cool card. I couldn't find another one quite like it. People like Gene Autry and it had Champion on there too, his horse, people like that. And it sold for $22.27 plus shipping. And then we sold the Jawa. Check this guy out. He had the brown stitched cloak. He also had his blaster. This another of the first 12 sold for $50.91 plus shipping. Great turnaround on that little figure. Then we sold another Luke Skywalker, but not the best Luke Skywalker of the weekend. Still pretty good one. This is the one that I had when I was a kid. I remember this guy sold for $25 plus shipping. Then we sold this hand puppet. When you find hand puppets, plush puppets that just kind of look cool at garage sales, think outside the box a little bit. That's not a puppet. That's a golf head cover. Look, see, right here, dog, hound, plush, golf club, head cover, or puppet. They look different. They look unique. They like having a bag full of fun stuff, and I, I paid a dollar at a garage sale, and I got $13 free shipping out of that. Then we sold a game, The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. This is the Enhanced Edition Silver Box. It's for the Xbox 360. Very, very clean. Sold this one for $29.81 free shipping. Then I sold the lunchbox. I think it had been sitting back here for a while. This I actually picked up from the, the same guy that we picked up the Star Wars stuff from on day one when I went to his sale. That's uh, in the Anatomy of a Garage Sale video. Uh, you might have seen that one. We picked this one up right away. It was tagged 20 bucks, but then we bundled stuff together. I paid maybe, I don't know, 12 or 15, something like that for it by the time we balance everything out. Put it to auction. I thought it might get a little bit more, but I'm still happy. I ended up at $54 plus shipping. And then how about this guy? This is the best Luke Skywalker. Return of the Jedi. It's with his blue lightsaber. That is the key there. Uh, this is a very rare figure. He had the blue lightsaber, he had his blaster, and he had his cloak 100% complete. And it's a variant, so there's not as many of them. There's actually one listed right now for $250. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to put mine to auction and we'll see what happens. I put it up for $199.99 plus shipping. I only got a single bid on it, but that's okay. I, I'm thrilled. This was a huge surprise to find, and I was really excited. We got a bid right there at the very end with like 10 seconds left. The bid came through. So... 200 bucks for an action figure, guys. Then we sold Tropico 5. This is for the PS4. It went for $8.99 plus shipping. Moving on, we sold uh, a 1978 Battlestar Galactica Viper. This is another one where I had the missiles. It had the pilot. I could have parted it out. Decided not to. It went for $69 plus shipping. 
Then a viewer of the channel, Miss Jane, came in and bought this press photo of Harrison Ford. This is from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Also came out of the Star Wars by, this was at auction, and she bought that for $6.50 plus shipping. And then we sold, despite a typo, look at this, Empire Stikes Back, uh, sold this guy. This is a Marvel Special Edition comic six dollars plus shipping on that we sold the speeder bike this one from 1983 return of the jedi and i had the figure so i paired the figure with it put it to auction and it went for 42 dollars plus shipping sold a kmart dress up doll i paid three dollars for a box of the these not specifically this one but a whole bunch of uh, variations on a theme and this one sold for $9.98, free shipping. Sold some Remington micro screens for uh, an electric razor, vintage little micro screens. I paid a dollar a piece for four of them at a garage sale, and somebody just bought two of them for $31.14 plus shipping. Vintage Star Wars 1977 Imperial Stormtrooper with his blaster sold for $28.00. And 32 cents plus shipping. Then I sold a jet pack. I picked this up when I was out at a garage sale Father's Day weekend with uh, Mountain Kid. You may have seen that video. And I paid $2 for that. And not a huge sale, but it sold within a couple weeks. $30.14 free shipping. Then we sold a book that we picked up from the Buffy sale. That sale continues to make us money. This is Art of Dark Siders. It's a hardcover book. It sold for $50.00. 24 cents plus shipping i think we paid probably on average about two dollars for that book a dollar i think it came out to a dollar 73 for the books so again really good return on investment here then we sold hoth rebel commander this is from empire strikes back 1980 he sold for 19 dollars and 76 cents plus shipping far cry for the ps4 nine dollars and 98 cents plus shipping then another international sale this sony discman picked this up when i was out with the kid as well it went to australia 58 dollars 51 cents 58 australian dollars and 51 australian cents i think we we paid i i think it was a dollar if that her her prices were really really low and so we make i didn't do the conversion but i would guess it's about 20 to 23 bucks something like that of profit after we paid shipping and all of that we sold the Witcher prop replica of Geralt's necklace. This is just something out of my BAM box subscription. $7.98 plus shipping. And then back to Star Wars. Revenge of the Jedi fan club embroidered patch. This one sold for $7 plus shipping. Then I sold another game. You see the theme here. We're selling a lot of toys, action figures, and games. You know, the summer slows down on eBay, but there are certain areas that they, they don't slow down because there's not a season for collectibles and games and toys. They sell year-round, and this one is a pretty good one. PS3, this is the Worms Collection. Paid, I think it was $5 on a Facebook Marketplace pickup for this guy, and it sold for $21 plus shipping. Another Star Wars figure, 1983, Return of the Jedi. This one going again to Australia. We had kind of a spate of four or five Australian sales back to back to back all of a sudden. This one, $39.75 Australian dollars. We make, I don't know, 12, 14 bucks, something like that when it's all said and done. Then we sold some trail running shoes again to Australia. These Terra Kiger running shoes, really cool colorway. Sold for $89.45 Australian dollars. So that one, we're ending up making 40, 45 bucks, something like that. Then we sold the Star Wars uh, Death Star droid. Lost my train of thought there. This one from 1978 sold to Australia $46.70 Australian dollars and cents. But again, you know, we make 25 bucks, something like that. Another couple international sales. Um, Winnie the Pooh. A glass ball ornament. This is a vintage ornament. Really cool. Just not super valuable. It was $4.99. Plus, they paid the uh, eBay standard international delivery fee to get that to Germany. And then they came in and bought another one. $4.99 plus the international shipping. Back to Star Wars 1983. General Medin. This one, $13.99 plus shipping. And then we sold this portable uh, blender, basically. It's Blendjet. 
The uh, the sell through on these is pretty solid. I picked them up for I think three dollars or something. I got two of them. They didn't have the charging cord. Otherwise, they'd move a lot faster. It's just a USB cord, I think. But I just listed them as they were. And this one sold $25 plus shipping. Covert Affairs Season 1, low dollar sale, but an easy thing to list and store and ship. $3.99 plus shipping. And then I had a buyer come in and pick up two things. The 1983 Star Wars Leia. This is when she was in the Bounty Hunter outfit to uh, free Holland from the Carbonite. Really cool look. And then they also picked up the 83 Return of the Jedi Yoda sticker. All told, $49 plus shipping. Then I picked up a Sensi. When, when I was on my way back from the uh, the 50 mile garage sale where I got all of the Star Wars stuff, it was actually in my neighborhood. And this is like at three o'clock in the afternoon, I saw a garage sale sign. And so I thought, eh, I got 30 bucks in my pocket. I'm gonna stop and see what's there. That was all I had left after the weekend. And it was a lady that sells Sensi's. And I picked up two retired Sensi's and retired seasonal sensies because I've done well with those before and this is the first one to sell and it actually is going international the manic mansion it's going to Germany for 71 19 euros so we end up making it was like 30 or 35 bucks I think on that I paid 30 bucks for two of them so you know we did okay and then the other one I actually have I think a watcher on it right now it's going to sell for about 80 bucks it's a little bit better Moving back on, we've got a few more here, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. We sold another Star Wars figure. This is Klaatu. It's one of the skiff guards from 1983. He sold for $10.50 plus shipping. Then we sold Weequay. He's from Star Wars 2 from 1983. Sold for $14.73 plus shipping. And then I sold a piece from the $6 million man. This is Steve Austin's engine block. Took an offer. We went back and forth on this one and settled in at $26 plus shipping. Then I sold another one of the training manuals. Just a few left. Uh, this one sold for $6.99 plus shipping. Another Star Wars, this a 1977 Imperial Stormtrooper with his blaster sold for $20 plus shipping. And one more, Wii Sports Resort. That thing is still selling. This is disc only, sold for $18.75 free shipping. And that is what we've sold since Wednesday night. That's a lot of stuff, guys. I mean, we've sold something like $3,000 in the, in the last week. It's been a phenomenal week fueled by Star Wars and Barbie. And so this is stuff, if, if I can find this stuff doing it part-time, you can find this stuff doing it part-time. I'm in small town Montana. So wherever you are, you can find this stuff you can be successful. I never imagined I'd stumble upon a vintage Star Wars collection. And I did. And I never figured I'd stumble on another Hall of Barbies. And I did. I mean, th this is stuff, if you're out there, if you're working, if you're grinding, you can find this stuff. So guys, I, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. And uh, thanks for all of your kind words uh, in the comments. Uh, you, you can leave a comment down below. That certainly helps. Thumb up on your way out. That helps us a ton as well. We're up over 5,100 subscribers now, I think 52, which means I'm probably way, way behind in doing a giveaway. We're going to do a giveaway coming up very, very soon, uh, sort of celebrating hitting that 5,000 subscriber milestone. And I do want to mention, I'm actually wearing the shirt today. This is uh, Off the Hinges Antiques. That's my cousin's uh, antique store. They're in Brazil, Indiana. So I, I know I've got to have a viewer in Indiana or close to Brazil, Indiana. Uh, Michael and Michelle, they have a fantastic store. They've got a great eye and they're a little bit uh, American picker style. They're going all over the Midwest looking for this stuff. They've got people across the country sending them messages saying, hey, guess what? I found some stuff. And so they're buying bulk lots from all over the place. It's not necessarily a place where you're going to go in and find stuff like a thrift store to flip, right? But if you have collections, if you enjoy looking at antiques and that sort of thing, um, go check out, uh, look at it. Here we go. There it is. Go check out Off the Hinges Antiques. Tell them that I sent you. Uh, I, I'd love to hear from them that, hey, I had somebody come in from your YouTube channel and, and wander into the store. That would be awesome. So if you live in the Indiana area, if you live in the Brazil, Indiana area specifically, um, 
you know, maybe I've got a weekend uh, assignment for you. Head on over to the antique store. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Like I said, I'm going to cut this thing off. It is getting long. We'll catch you next time. Bye.